Adblockers remain one of the most popular browser plugins in the world, with the most popular one with over 10 million downloads in the Chrome Web Store alone. But how easy is it to build an adblocker from scratch? And will the most popular AI chatbot be able to do it? In this video I make ChatGPT program our very own adblocker. Let's try it out. After ChatGPT told me a few times that what I'm doing is morally wrong, it provided me with some code for the adblocker. A Chrome extension has at least two files. One is the manifest JSON, which contains basic information about the plugin. And the other one is the actual code file. The extension uses the web request API, which is how most ad blockers work. Basically, you're able to define rules for which requests should be blocked from the browser. ChatGPT already included block patterns for the most popular ad provider on the internet, Google Ads. So let's load the extension into a Chrome browser and see if it actually works. There is an ad on top of that tech news site. But after activating the extension and reloading the page, it's gone. It actually works. This only blocks Google Ads though, and there are a lot of ad networks out there. So I tried to get a better blocking list from ChatGPT, which it refused at first, telling me I was a bad person for blocking ads but after a few more tries, it gave me a list of domains to block. Let's add it to the code and try again. Unfortunately, the list is now far too restrictive, blocking entire sites like Twitter, Pinterest and even Google itself. But our extension works. And with a little bit of fine-tuning of the list, it would be a really useful extension. For now at least. Unfortunately, it won't work for long, as this plugin uses an old manifest version that will no longer be listed in Google Chrome Store after June 2023 and will stop working altogether in January 2024. With the new Manifest version 3, Google is changing the Web Request API and replacing it with a new Declarative Net Request API that limits the number of rules that can be applied. This may not be a problem for our little ad blocker, but it certainly is for the most popular ad blocker extensions out there that use hundreds of thousands of rules. It is also important to note that this problem is specific to Chrome browsers. Firefox, which also supports Manifest version 3, has chosen to maintain support for the existing Web Request API. So let's ask ChatGPT for a more future-proof version. It won't be able to use the new declarative Net Request API because it's quite new and ChatGPT doesn't know about it yet. But after a few tries, I got another version that will work with Manifest version 3. The new version just uses a script that runs on every page that you visit with your browser. It uses HTML classes and IDs to identify ads and remove them from the page. It also uses a mutation observer to look for changes on the page that might occur in modern single-page applications when content is lazy loaded. This will work in most cases, but it has worse performance than our first option and it's also worse for privacy, as requests may be sent to the ad provider server before the ad is actually displayed. And it will also just block less ads. The fundamental concept of ad blocking is actually not that difficult and ChatGPT managed to create two pretty good implementations for basic ad block extensions. If you would like to see me build a more complex application with ChatGPT, check out my other video where I build a Twitter clone with ChatGPT. Also, if you enjoyed watching the video, please leave a like as it really helps me out.